I got a comment recently on my YouTube channel and I love getting comments because I can respond to them. I can see what people are liking, what they're not liking, what they want to know, and that inspires more videos like these. But I got this comment the other day and sometimes, just sometimes they bother me a little bit. I mean, to say that, you know, um, I love Asana is an understatement. I mean, it's integrated into every part of my life, uh, my personal life, my business. I use it for absolutely everything. And so when I get comments like this, it kind of rubs me the wrong way because it means you don't really understand the capabilities of the tool. Maybe you haven't put it through its full paces, or maybe you just need to hire Surface so that we can train you and your team on how to use it. But in this case, I'm going to be reading this comment here. So it says Asana, and this is to, uh, how old is this video? I think this video is like two years old. So it was a universal uh, reporting demo. And I know it's two years old because I'm sporting that terrible mustache that I used to have. Why did no one tell me? It was so bad. Uh, but in any case, they said, Asana is terrible for reporting, like literally the worst reporting I've seen. That's a big statement, my friend. Um, to say there is no limit to what it can do is simply not true. They're calling me a liar now. Um, that's why I took a bed to it. Um, I don't want to see a chart. I want to see the tasks on the dashboard. And so not only can you see the chart, but you can click through to see the tasks on the dashboard. And I'm going to I'm going to take it one step further in this demo here. I'm going to show you really what can be done with universal reporting or even project reporting. And then I'm going to show you how you can use AI to improve it if you're not sure about how to get the information out of Asana that you that you want to. So I'm going to show you this project here. This is our new ideas project. If you're familiar with EOS, they call this the issues list. But this is where we identify, discuss, and solve all the different issues or ideas that come in um, from either the team or myself. And so this is one that I can show you in my space that I think is safe because there's nothing like um, client facing here. But I'm just going to go to the dashboard here for a second. So what I always say to people when it comes to reporting is if you have the data in and you take the time to put that data in in the form of a custom field, we can report on it. Okay, with formulas on the platform now, with rollups at the portfolio level, there is no limit to what we can report on, literally. Yes, it's not going to do every single thing. I mean, up until the point in this video, the point of this recording, sorry, um, we got burn down charts, finally. That's been a big ask. And so they're always improving it, but I don't think it's as bad as you think it is. And so let's just take a look at some of the options here. So here, um, what I really want to do for this use case is think how long is it taking tasks um, to be completed within this project? And so we can come in here and I can go, um, how long is it going to be? Number. And then I can go to time. And you can simply, you know, select time to complete. And I can look at it in the, the default unit here. And so um, it's taking a uh, hundred years. That's that's not that's not true. Um, it's taking us, you know, weeks, and then um, it's taking us days. And so if you notice, it's actually showing the sum here. So we want to switch to the average, obviously. But th that's one of the ways that you know, without even using custom fields, it's pulling in that information. If we want to know how long tasks are taking in a specific section, so week to week, I'm supposed to go in and look at all of the new identified uh, ideas. I don't always get to it. And sometimes those ideas aren't relevant. We don't have the budget or we don't have the resources to move that idea forward to discuss it or to solve it. And so it stays there for a little bit. So the average time it takes for a task to stay in a section is 40 one days. Then we can say how many weeks is that, right? How much time is that in, in years? And we can display how many hours that is, right? So these are really great changes and really great ways for you to display visually a lot of different information. Feeling a bit lost using Asana? Or maybe you've been at it for a while, but you know your team isn't getting the most out of it. We've got just what you need with our new Asana support packages. Design these services to perfectly fit your team's unique needs, whether you're a small startup or a big enterprise. You'll get access to live training sessions with our Asana experts, a library of ready to use Asana templates and dedicated support tickets whenever you need them. Stop trying to navigate Asana alone. Our tailored support will ensure you and your team make the most out of your Asana investment without the big financial commitment. Click on the link in the description to learn more. Now, if you aren't well versed with this, um, with reporting in Asana, I understand for a lot of people, it can seem intimidating, can, it can be overwhelming. And so um, you'll notice right up here, we've got this little draft chart with Asana AI. So I'm just gonna try something. I'm gonna close out of this for a second here. I've never actually used this 
chart builder inside of Asana, I typically know what I'm looking for, but let's just let's just see what it does. So what would you like to create? Let's do the same thing I just did. Um, how long tasks are taking to be completed? And let's draft that. There we go. How long tasks are taking to be completed? So up here, we've got uh, 16 weeks. There we go. Average time. Let's give it a bit more information. Let's actually back that one up. How long um, does it take tasks to be completed? There we go. So now it's giving us the average and default time of that eight weeks. Um, it's given us the days as we just saw, and it's giving us our hours. So it's pretty good, right? It's given us, you know, the information that we that we asked for. Let's go and add another chart. And let's just say um, a donut chart of the types of tasks based on, I think it's called idea status. Let's just see. That's a custom field that I got. And let's see what it drafts for us. There we go. So it took my bar chart, transformed it into this. So we've got uh, 246 in the solved. And then in the identify, we've got 35. Um, invalidated, we've got 33 invalidated tasks. And so again, if you're feeling overwhelmed or you're not sure where to look, try out the AI. I think this is a really cool feature um, inside of, of, of the dashboard, especially when you get to the portfolio level, right? Because now you're dealing with multiple projects across multiple portfolios potentially. And so try it out for yourself, right? You have to be on at least the, the advanced version to use uh, the universal reporting. But come on, my friend, to say that this is the worst reporting you've ever seen, I don't know. Watch this video. I hope I can change your mind. Uh, if you do have any questions, though, please let me know. Again, I love these comments. It's all in good fun here. But if you do have any questions, please keep your comments coming. Leave one down below. If you found this helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and um, help us reach more people just like you. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.